we would be at a great loss as a society without this flying uh, dinosaur with us now after, we've, after they've survived all of these hundreds of thousands of years. They are a huge representative of what's going right or wrong on the coast. The people of Louisiana as long viewed this as Pelican State. We went from a, a period of time where they were extirpated, where they've been lost from large portions of the northern Gulf Coast, including, including the state of Louisiana. We are expediting the administrative review of all uses of DDT. We will schedule a public hearing in the latter part of April regarding this pesticide. We did a really great job of reintroducing them after the problems of DDT and hunting and things that were going on before, but now climate change has really accelerated some of the issues with their habitat and some of the problems that they've had because of all the rapid change on our coastlines. In southeastern Louisiana, around 2010, there were 15 islands that were used by pelicans, and now we're down to about six. We are ground zero for looking at the effects of sea level rise because the coast is sinking at the same time sea levels are going up. The rate of change that's happening right now in these is faster than anything these birds have ever experienced throughout their evolutionary history. So even though they're animals that are used to work, living on these islands that change at, at fairly rapid rates in terms of geologic time, the rate of change that's happening in our coastal zones now is, is something that is unprecedented throughout the last six million years. When Don and I first got married, we, there was more land in the back of our house. I remember being able to pull marsh grass from, you know, from on the side to buy you. And now it's so wide, Donald's boat can, you know, go crossways and, and, you know, not even touch the sides. Not all hard land, and now it's just gold streets. But it was hard land and it had cattle there. Those islands are critical for decreasing the strength of hurricanes and storms before they get to cities. They don't have a place to lay within what's going to happen. And it's our state bird, so, you know, they need somewhere to lay. how precious those baskets are that are holding our remaining pelican eggs and how precarious some of them are that are going to be a challenge for a long time to come and do we have the resources to maintain them. CO2 is pollution. It is causing degradation of coastal habitats. It is causing sea levels to rise and for our communities to be in danger just like DDT was back in the day. We're, we're seeing signs like we saw back then, but we're not responding to them like we should. If we keep the birds around, that's the same thing as helping keep ourselves around. 